Good morning, YouTube. Feel like I've uh, neglected y'all a little bit. Um, been on vacation, actually. You know, and uh, what I do on vacation, I just come here and stay home, catch up with uh, cleaning and uh, all the all the stuff I've been neglecting lately, and uh, I feel a lot better for it. You know, but I've also been working on my projects as well. This is a uh, we kind of cleaned up my workstation. I still got some cleaning left to do. All the stuff I've acquired to build stuff with. <laughs> I have high hopes. All right. Uh, and I, I've got bags of all these prints, all these parts that aren't working quite right. This was done. Um, this is part of the rocket, right? This is the one that I showed y'all in a short clip. I was like, yeah, I'm going to make a model rocket and uh, fly it. And I, I could have launched this one. Uh, and with no chance of it re being recovered, I ended up gluing it together. This is print number one, thinking about building a model rocket. Um, and then I've been having adhesion problems because I got this borsilica plate. Uh, and it's got no surface tension I did not surface tension uh, uh, texture I did try to take a, uh, a rough grit sandpaper to it and uh, all I did was scratch it a little bit it really didn't impart much of a texture I've been printing with rafts under it for the adhesion and that works up to a point but only if I have the um, I mean it's the tolerances of whether or not that thing is Right, it's frustrating. So that's why I want a, a printer that's like self-leveling because I it this is, I don't want to have to fumble around with this all the time. All right, so that was print number one. Let's see here. Uh, this is print number two. Uh, I failed midway through, and um, so I said screw it. Uh, here's all the fins. Here's the, the top portion of uh, print number three. All right, so uh, I guess you might look if I, uh, I don't know how I'm going to stand you up. I'll stand you up like this. No, 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 not, no, not that no, 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 not, no, no, not, not like this, like this. All right. All right. It's got two little holes. Ah, clumsy. Bear with me, y'all. Two little holes. And then the adjoining fin, which this is actually from print number uh, two. So this one doesn't have the holes, but on the uh, revised version, it does. So I use a, a portion of paper clip. I'll just clip it and super glue it. Make sure those fins are... Uh, perfectly aligned with how the rocket should be flying and this is key because this rocket will be going what like 600 miles per hour perhaps these uh rocket engines i'm going to use this a10 a10 3t from estes um it's got quite a bit of thrust uh i think at max it's like three pounds of thrust uh coasting thrust is like uh half a pound and um it, it, it lasts for, I think that's uh, 10 seconds. So yeah, this thing is going to fly high and fast. And I, I really shouldn't be too concerned about weight, but I am concerned about weight. Um, the revision that I need to make from uh, print number three, uh, let me get you all focused in here, is that this coupler right here, the tolerances are way too tight. So had I loaded this rocket motor up into it. Sorry, y'all. I, I need a better equipment or something. I, you know? Um, I'm using my cell phone, of course. So you just load the rocket motor up like that into it. And I've got a little blocker so it doesn't go any farther inside the tube. Pretty thin wall thickness. I, this is a two-layer thick so 0.8 millimeter for the uh, main body tube, and it's still structurally sound enough for sure. 
uh, for the physics required. So what would have happened had I popped this all together, took it out and flown it? It would have probably gotten, <clears throat> I don't know, 800 feet or so. Uh, and then when the parachute was supposed to pop out, it would still be flying straight up because uh, this thing I, I anticipate going really fast. I'm, I, I don't know, I, I always make things way too aerodynamic. So um, compared to uh, what this motor usually propels, this thing will be flying really fast. So it's going to have that kinetic energy about it. So the uh, three second delay or whatever it is before it pops that chute, it's still going to be traveling straight up. Um, but at that point, this thing would be uh, stubborn and it wouldn't give. What would give is if I could grip it, you know, see here's probably another revision I need to incorporate, putting that motor a little bit, uh, that ring a little bit farther down in the tube. But yeah. This is, that, that pops out relatively easy. This, you know, and uh, one solution I've been doing is just using the top portion. All right, so that, those are things you need to change about it. Now here's the, um, had it all been assembled. And, you know, I, I did a low resolution print and, uh, Right here at the tip, you could tell I was having, it was ridiculous. It was on the print bed, and I was using uh, <laughs> uh, tape um, on the edges of the raft. And when I when I got done printing it, I took the tape off. There was, nothing was sticking to the print bed. So the fact that this print came out decent enough, it was three hours um, to do. And it's encouraging. I just need, uh, I've ordered masking tape put on this print bed um 12 inch or no eight inch wide masking tape it should be here tomorrow but yeah um i haven't given up on this project yet you know it's just one of many um the paper airplane duct fan rubber band powered i haven't given up on it quite yet either uh <clears throat> I mean, but I haven't done it. But I, I guess I have given up on it. I haven't done no work on it. You know, it's, it's what I've got so far. I got that little, you know, bit right there, and then I realized it was going to be being pulled on by the pulley that's attached to the. Uh, so I made a, a portion that could slide in and out, and uh, with a pin to help with its rigidity. But like I said, I haven't worked on this in. Uh, quite some time so I don't know if I'll end up trashing it um, this 3d printer really has uh, distracted my focus mainly because I finally figured out how to use a program to design stuff and it, it, it's all beginner stuff you know beginner 3d printer beginner 3d CAD um, CAD software I, I really need to learn the better stuff because uh, Supposedly, trying to do technical stuff like this is harder to do on Tinkercad. And if I knew how to do SolidWorks or, uh, you know, one of those official programs, it could be uh, better for me. I'm a beginner. But I do know how to make a model rocket. So, uh, now with that and 3D printing, and with Etsy, you know, why not give it a go? Anyways, wanted to update y'all. I've got some other projects that I've not even started talking to y'all about. Um, I said I'm all over the place. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and show you. My bathroom's kind of a wreck, so uh, don't judge me too critically. Uh, little, uh, underwater glider um, this thing right here all right you know I I could set it up for coaxial but this is my hydro uh, jet my water jet I had rubber band powered and here's the pulleys leading up to it then I got you know the last pulley dumping out that fish line straight to around the uh, shaft and um, 
common common error that I have, and I, I really tried to like sand and you know um, uh, file away at the steel axle that's wrapped around. But um, even with all that and with the super glue and it still ends up slipping. I mean, I have two thick rubber bands on it. Uh, and I had that thing stretched all the way over here. And this PVC pipe was actually bending. <laughs> but then again, you know, you see how much how much pulley line I have to um, overcome. And uh, when this thing is in water, yeah, it, it was actually pushing pretty hard. I could, I could feel quite a bit of thrust from that. So, and when it's in air, you know, it just unwinds like a like a um, duck fan and uh, for a brief second I get a good amount of thrust <laughs> it's like a miniature leaf blower kind of um, so yeah I'm messing about with that you know I got this I was gonna make like a uh, I was gonna try to make it into a um, let me call them pup pup boats I'm just in a kick of making stuff. Um, more experiments. Airfoil profiles. Printing. Uh, double layered. Way too heavy. But. Could be a good uh, hydrofoil. Because you know. If you put it underwater. You don't have to be so concerned about weight. You have to be concerned about the. Uh, the design of it. I'm very concerned about the design of it. My uh, net trap thing sucks, and uh, not in the proper way. I mean, it's supposed to suck the nets in, drawn in with a blue light. Then you got a little sticky pad right there. And they are supposed to circulate out through. I, I have a lot of beef with this design. Um, so it could have been done better, definitely. <laughs> I had to give it a try. They they they've been coming down and prices uh, on the Amazon. All these entrepreneur magazines I order I never read because eh, sometimes it's just important to find it your own way. But you can tell where my mind's at. Look at all this. Just you got springs and bearings and springs and Chain, yes. This is very important for reasons unknown to you all and might be unknown for a while. BBs, 25 caliber. I, I, I want to make a slingshot. Um, you know, I got my chronograph, so I can now measure the velocity of the projectiles and I can do uh, some fun calculations with that. So I, I kind of want to make a uh, rubber band powered 3D printed slingshot. I've been messing about with concepts in my head uh, I haven't gone as far as to design anything on the computer but uh we'll see and I ordered this I have 3D uh, I keep on throwing 3D out there I have RC airplane components and I finally figured out how to wire it up and bind it up with the transmitter and um, it's really a affordable kit you get everything except for the battery for like like thirty dollars, the receiver, two, two uh, servos, this uh, two two thousand two hundred kilovolt, kilo, kilovolt, you know. So maybe if I get better at um, this three D print stuff, maybe I can make a an RC three D printed stuff, you know. Or, Rocket motors. Hmm. I've been messing around with this mic too. Uh, I guess my voice sounds a little bit better on it. It's not like I do podcast over here. What am I going to talk about? You know, I really have nothing to talk about. I, I just like making stuff. <laughs> so, uh, anyways. YouTube. Have a good one. This has been an update. I need to show you all row the banana plant again. Uh, I did an update 10 and I realized how stupid I sounded in it. So uh, I just went ahead and did myself a favor and took it down.
Have a good night.